Okay, the purpose of this tutorial is to give you some increased understanding about Google spreadsheet uh, formulas and how to um, prepare to create a Google gadget. So here is uh, a spreadsheet with data that's been um, gathered based on a form. I'm going to go up here to form and I'm going to say edit form so you can see this is my interactive website review form so there's four options for websites that they can review I've got three content questions, three learner interaction questions, three progress tracking questions and three choice category questions so when, when reviewers submit that form it comes in here and uh, gives me another row for each one. So you can see we have an app one that's been reviewed, an app two that's been reviewed, an interactive website one that's been reviewed, and then two interactive website twos that have been reviewed so far. And as people review more, there will be more and more added to this. So I want to collect some summary data on these. So I've created a new sheet down here called Math App Result Sheet. And I have a row for app one, a row for app two, and interactive website one, interactive website two. And then I have my categories across the top, content, learner engagement, progress tracking, and choice category. So in this cell, under app one content, I want the average score for uh, all the app one reviews for content, and, and so on. So I'm going to explain how the formulas work to actually get that. So I, I come here and I click on this cell and I see that I have a formula. The equal sign means I'm going to create a formula and I have average, which means I'm going to take the average of a set of cells. So within the parentheses for average, I just need to indicate what cells I want. So if I go back here to raw data, and say, well, what cells is it that I want? Well, I want app one, and I want all the cells for app one. So I've got app one here. If I had another row of app ones, I would want those cells too. So I'm going to use a function called filter, which will allow me to get just the cells that I want. So that's what this is, filter. Now if I come down here and uh, Oops, I didn't, uh, it's typing up there, I need to uh, come click in a cell down here, I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to go filter. You notice when I type in the function, it gives me what the arguments are for that function. So you can see that the first is the source array, so that's the place you want to go for the data, and then any anything after that are conditions or in other words criteria for selecting or not selecting from that array what numbers you want included and which ones that you don't so um, if we go back and look at the formula that's here the the first thing that we're looking at is the array what, what's our base data that we're looking at so this says raw data so that sheet raw data down here and its columns C through E so if we go down here we look at raw data columns C through E those are all the content questions okay now we're gonna go back to math app results and we want to filter out the ones that are not um, app 1 so I'm saying say here I want you to only, within columns C through E, I want you to only look at the data where, um, where column B is equal to A2. So where column B in raw data is equal to A2. So what's A2 here? A2 here is app 1. So it's, what it's going to do is it's going to look in column B for any text that's, that's the exact same as app 1. So I'd go back here. If we look down column B, the only one that's app 1 
text would be this column two. So it would only be using these. Now if we're to do interactive website two, it would come look in column B for interactive website two and it would select these two columns. Or the yeah, these three columns right here, these two rows. So that's what's happening with, uh, with this filter. And we have the same thing happening. Oops, I need to say undo. We have the same thing happening in these other columns here. These are summarizing content. These are summarizing uh, learner engagement, progress tracking, and choice category.